Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.13. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you how to find shaders packs all the way to installing Optifine and getting shaders running in the game. It's going to be super easy and I'm going to walk you through every single step. But first, a message from our sponsor, which is Game Servers. Go to thebreakdown.xyz slash server, the first link down below, to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. We use them ourselves, and we absolutely love them. Again, that's the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash MC server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get shaders installed. So, first thing you want to do is actually go to the second link down below, because it's going to take you here, where you can then scroll down and find the big green download cylinder shaders button. This is my personal favorite shaders pack. There's a few different options, but no matter what shaders pack you have, this will work. So we're going to click on download cylinder shaders here, if this is the shaders pack you want, and then we can scroll on down. And by the way, you can see all the different screenshots and what all of these look like here, but we can scroll on down until we find the downloads for the versions we want. So in my case, I like vibrant shaders, right? That's the one that I personally love and that I use. You could use the basic shaders, whatever one you want to use doesn't matter, but then click on download of the version you want. For me, I want the medium version because it's recommended for recording and older PCs and I don't have an older PC, but I do record Minecraft, so that's what works. Now we're just going to click this, it's going to take us off to AppPly, where we have to wait 5 seconds. Eventually up here in the top right, you will click a yellow skip add button. If you don't have that, if it just doesn't work, just hit command shift R on your keyboard and it will reload the entire page and it should be working. If that doesn't work, there's nothing I can do for you. AppPly is something shader pack creators have to use to make a little bit of money back for all the work they put into their shader packs. So once this is finally up in the top right, this skip add button, we can click it, where it then takes takes us off to, I believe, Mediafire, where once we're on Mediafire, we can click cancel there. So what's happened is it's opened up this spam window. No, your download is not ready. Do not click on that. Do not click on anything on any page to download something unless it says Mediafire right up here in the top and right there. So more importantly though, right up here in the top in the URL bar, it should say mediafire.com. Once it does, and we can see here, Cylinders Vibrant Shaders, that's what we're wanting to download, we can click on this download button. Now in the bottom left, it will download shaders, but we're not quite done yet. We still need to download Optifine. To download Optifine, go to the third link down below and it will take you here. Or you then want to scroll down, click on the big green download Optifine button, which will take you off to here, where if this video, if you're watching this, let's say this video has been out, even a week you're gonna do this just a bit different if you're watching this video a week from the time it's released all you want to do is find minecraft 1.13 here come down until you find the most recent version the one at the very top under minecraft 1.13 and then just click on mirror right here next to it however if you're watching this video right after it came out you want to click on preview versions here and then when you see optifine 1.13 at the beginning click on mirror right here if you do that, no matter which way you do it, you'll be taken off to a page that looks like this. Now, there might be an ad up at the top and ad up at the bottom, but for me, there's just one ad on the side currently. All you're going to want to do is find the link in the middle of the page that says download Optifine 1.13.jar. That's what this one says. That's what we're going to click. And when you click that, it will start a download. And you're going to have to keep the file, but it says this file will not be safe. How do you know it's going to be safe? Well, it's pretty simple. At the end of it, make sure it says .jar anyway, which ours does. You can see jar anyway down there at the bottom. We know we're actually downloading Optifine and not anything else. And Optifine has been downloaded by millions upon millions of people. So we know we're safe. We go ahead and click keep. Now, if we minimize our browser, we should have two files here. And we do. Stilters, Vibrant Shaders, and Optifine. Now, if these aren't already to stop, don't freak out. It's pretty simple to fix it. Just hit the Windows key or keyboard and R at the exact same time. Then you should be able to type in downloads into the run folder here, right into that search bar, and just hit enter. It will then open up your downloads folder. These are most likely in your downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once they're on your desktop, the thing we want to do first is install Optifine. Doing this is pretty simple. Just right click on it and then go to open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. It'll open up a handy dandy installer like this. If yours doesn't or you don't have the option to open with Java TM Platform SE Binary, that's a very simple fix. Just go to the fourth link down below. It's going to take you here, which is the tutorial that we have on installing the Java SDK. The Java SDK is something you need for pretty much any sort 
of Minecraft modding, whether it's installing mods or creating mods, you need it. So just come here, click the download button, go through this tutorial, and you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, once you've got that downloaded, you will in fact be able to right click and then open with Java TM Platform SE Binary to get you to here. Now, let's go ahead and click on the install button there. It'll go through and Optifine successfully installed. That's what we want to see. If yours doesn't successfully install, all you've got to do is go run Minecraft 1.13 vanilla with no mods installed or anything like that, and then come back and it'll work, right? So once you've done that, go ahead and click OK. Now we want to go ahead and open up our handy dandy Minecraft launcher. Once you're in here, you want to click on the little green arrow here and then find the Optifine profile. Click on that and it should say 1.13 Optifine. If it doesn't, what do you do? Well, come up here to the launch options. Find the Optifine profile here. If you don't have an Optifine profile, just use any profile that you have here. Click on it and then next to version, you should be able to change it to release 1.13 Optifine. As you can see, mine's already selected, so click OK or click that and then click save. Now if we come back over here to news, we will be able to click the little green arrow next to the play button, select the Optifine profile yet again and click play. It's now launching 1.13 with Optifine installed, which is required to run shaders packs in Minecraft 1.13. Pretty cool freaking stuff. Once this is up, installing shaders packs is easy, guys. The hard part is done. Not that any of this was super difficult, but the hard parts are done. Now it's just dragging and dropping your shader pack into a folder and you've got shaders. So as we wait for Mojang and Optivine to work together here to open up Minecraft 1.13, I do want to remind you if you're enjoying this video, if it's helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. But once we've got the Minecraft launcher open here, all we need to do to install shaders packs is go into options, go into video settings, and then we should have a shaders basically folder here or a shaders button. Click on the shaders button and then click down here in the bottom left on the shaders folder tab. This will open up our shaders folder. Then we just want to take cylinder shaders or any shader pack that you want to install and drag it into shaders packs here. Close out of this and it automatically appears. You may have to click done and then click on shaders again. Now to activate it, just click on the shaders pack. It'll lag for a second, it'll take a few seconds to activate, but eventually the shaders pack will activate and will be good to go. As you can see, I'm getting a little circle here saying it's like not responding and waiting. That's fine, just let it wait. Now if it crashes and suddenly disappears, then you do have a problem. And if Optifine just came out like it has currently, that might be the issue. But if Optifine's been out a few weeks, at that point, you can comment down below, let me know what's going on, and I'll try my best to help you out. What helps me out, though, is for you to let me know what shaders pack you are, in fact, installing. And as I'm talking here, it just configured over and installed Silder's Vibrant Shaders. So let's go ahead and click done, click done again, click done again, and I'm just going to launch into a random 1.13 tutorial world that I have in order to show you that Shaders is in fact up and running in Minecraft 1.13. Now on the first load with Shaders, it might actually take a second, and I don't think there's any denying that Shaders is in fact installed in this game. Wow, how beautiful is that grass. I'm curious if this is going to work with 1.13 stuff or how well it's going to work with 1.13 stuff. So let's see if we can't get over to the water and see some like kelp or something. Wow, that water. That is just stunning, guys. Absolutely stunning. Oh, oh, there's some lag. Look at that. It like turns the water all milky and stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Nevertheless, guys, that is how you can install shaders in Minecraft 1.13. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section down below. I try to respond to every single comment that we get here on the channel. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.